Hello everybody, I'm Avery, this is YouTube Tutorials. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to add social media icons into your videos. So you can get something that looks something like this, or you get something that looks like this. If you're using Premiere Pro, you'll be able to get something that looks like this. And all three of these different methods are absolutely free. I would like to say that I use Premiere Pro, and if you're not using Premiere Pro, then uh, hopefully you're using something that at least lets you have multiple tracks in one project. So something like Final Cut or Camtasia or some of the other ones that's out there. If you're using any of those, this should work out just fine. If you don't have one of those, if you only have a video editor where it only lets you have one track at a time, you're not gonna be able to use that. You have to get something a little different, in which case I would suggest that you use Premiere Pro. Link in the description box if you want to check that out. I also want to plug in something else. Let's say you want something with a little pizzazz. You know, you want to you want to style on people a little bit, style on your viewers. You can check out Motion Array because you can find packages that you can download for Premiere Pro, After Effects, Final Cut, and other things of that nature there. Not only can you get these type of graphics, but you can also get titles, transitions, stock photography, stock video there, music there. Check it out. Now that I got that out the way, I think I got all the advertisement out the way. <laughs> now I'm gonna go ahead and show you something free. So the first thing I'm gonna do is download a social media icon as a PNG file so I can bring it into this project. So I can find as many as I want on iconfinder.com. You can see that I have social media in the search and all I got to do is just scroll down and you can see that it's so many different types of social media icons and logos. The ones that have a crown by them, those are premium icons, in which case you'll have to have some type of subscription to download it. But the rest of these you can download for free. I already have a PNG that I have downloaded. So what I want to do is go back into my Premiere Pro project and I'm just going to import it here. I have a big space right here in my project. All I got to do is double click on it and it'll bring up import right here, in which case I can go ahead and import something into the project. I can also just easily go into file and then find import from here. But another way I can go ahead and import is by opening up a separate folder and just bringing in one of these PNGs over into the project. I got this YouTube one right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag it and paste it into my project. And this is the one that I'm going to be using. So from here, I'm going to do the exact same thing, which is drag and drop from the project into the actual sequence. And I'm gonna be dragging it into what says video two, which is video track number two. I don't wanna drag it into video track number one because it will replace what I have there in video one completely. What I can do is double click on this if I have the selection tool selected and do that. Or if I have it highlighted down here, what I can do is go to effect controls and then change the actual position over here. In which case I can drag it over to the left and then make it go down or up. Or once again, I can just move it from here and then resize it from here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. And from here, what I can do is go ahead and add a text. When you add a text, it's gonna start wherever your timeline is. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here. Try to make it as close as I can, but it's not gonna really matter because I can change it regardless. So going over here into your tools, you got this T for the type tool. And I'm going to go ahead and put this here. I'm going to go ahead and also click inside of it. And I'm going to put YouTube tutorials. Move this over from down here, move it over to the left. So both of them are up here at the same time. Once again, you can see my PNG and you can see the text. So what I want to do is since I'm already highlighted on YouTube tutorials down here, the effect controls are up. I'm gonna go into the text of YouTube tutorials, expand on that, and then I'm gonna go down and then change the position over here in YouTube tutorials. I'm also gonna make it a little bigger down here as well. I'm gonna bring it down. And honestly, that's all I had to do. 
So the second method I got for you is by downloading a social media icons as a font style. So whenever you click on one of the corresponding letters, you'll get a different logo. You can see that I'm on thefont.com. I got social media right here in the search. So search it for it. You see all these different social media styles. Most of these are actually the exact same because the same person has made them. And the only difference is the shape that surrounds it. We can click on it and you can see each letter is a different logo. So going back into Premiere Pro, since I already have it downloaded, I want to go into the type tool, pick a place I want my logos to be. And I'm going to expand on this. I can change this to one of the social media and I'm going to put social media seven. And now going back over here, I'm going to start typing in. So you see, I got YouTube, Facebook, WordPress, and Twitter, and that's good enough. So what I want to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and expand, make these larger. And let's say I don't want every single one white. So highlighting one specifically at a time, I can go ahead and change it, you know, just like you would anywhere else. Change that one to blue. So I have all these right here. The next thing I want to do is add a text right under it. So what I'll do from here, add another box. I'm going to change the font to Beavis and I'm going to do YouTube tutorials because I don't want this to be blue. I want to be white instead. I'm going to go back to fill, change that to white. That's okay. And now I'm going to go down into scale and make scale up. Then reposition it to go down to be right here. And I actually like how that looks. The only thing I don't like as far as this text is I would like the actual icons to be white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight this graphic right here. I don't have to be in this graphic. I can actually go ahead and just push this one up and make an entirely new graphic. It really depends on what you want to do at the time, but I'm going to go to this triangle tool. You'll more than likely see it as the pen tool, but if you click on it and hold on it, you change it to a triangle tool. So with that being said, I can go ahead and I can cover it. Just by holding it, I can make a new shape and I can keep doing that for every single one. What I can do from here is looking at my shapes down here. I see the text YouTube tutorials. I see my text right here. I'm going to take this, hold it, and I'm going to bring it above the other shapes. And now you can see that the shapes are now behind it. And now it looks a lot better. The last method I got for you today is by downloading a motion graphics file that has a social media icon in it. You can find some of these motion graphic files as lower thirds and you can get them for free on mixkit.co. I already have a few of them already downloaded and I'm going to go ahead and show you exactly what I mean. So what I'm going to do is go up into the menu over here and go into graphics. From graphics, what I'm going to do is go into browse and I'm going to look for my social media lower third, which is right here that I got from mixkit.co. I'm going to drag and drop it into the sequence. And you can see that this is it right here. It says lower thirds, mix kit, and it has Instagram right here. And essential graphics on the right. You got the browse tab and you got the edit tab. So what I want to do is go to edit and I want to actually highlight the social lower third that I just brung in. So I can go ahead and edit this one. First thing I'm going to do is change the text number one to YouTube tutorials. And I'm going to change the second text to follow. And I can do a couple of other things. I can change the box size. I can change the text size, change the follow size. Uh, change the position of it a little bit. But for the most part, I'm not going to be able to change too much of this. I can't change this lower thirds icon. But if I wanted to change the colors of the text or the box, I can go all the way down to colors. And you can see that it's right here. If I wanted to change 
the position. You can see that it's right there. You change it up, change it down, change the scale. And let's see it come in. You can see that this line right here has turned red. I'll have to render this in order to get it to turn green instead of uh, red. And then what that does is that it will make it run smooth. Cause right now, if I try to play this, it'll run a little choppy. So let's check this out real quick since it turned green. And you can see right there, it just came in a lot easier as well as it will go out a lot easier as well. That is the last freeway I got for you. Just like I was saying before, this is the same method that you would use to uh, bring in some motion graphic files from Motion Array. The only difference is with Motion Array graphic files, you'll have a lot more um, free range to do certain things with them. And with all that being said, hopefully you find this information useful. And if you did, why don't you go ahead, like, subscribe, share with a friend, click the bell notification so you can get notified when new videos come out for me. I make new videos every week. Thanks for watching.